Hey, Justin Chamness, and we're back talking about outsourcing your business. We're talking about, um, we, we talked about how to find virtual assistants and operations managers, and now we're talking about how to manage those virtual assistants and operations managers. Some pointers, some tips, some philosophy that you need to embrace in order to be successful with these virtual assistants. Because again, remember, they're coming from many times, they're from other countries. They, they just don't understand what we do here in the United States and how things work. And so sometimes they're a little limited and you need to be um, savvy enough to know how to plug them in and to use them and, and bless them as they bless you in your business. So we're gonna talk about how to manage these people because if you're not managing these people, then they're probably gonna be managing you. Hey, we're talking about managing virtual assistants and operations managers and I have I have a philosophy that's that's helped me. I've developed this over having many 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 countless virtual assistants on many many different projects and tasks and I've had I've had them go good for a while and then go bad and I've had them start out bad and I've had them I've had them go good and I've had them last good for for a long 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 time and no you can't have my virtual assistants I love my virtual assistants and I take care of them and that leads me to philosophy number one in managing your virtual assistants or operations managers philosophy number one is is what I call inspect what you expect okay so if you're going to expect these folks to do a certain set of routine mundane tasks for you whether that's talking on the phone or emailing or responding uh, or sending out text blasts or responding or maybe just building your marketing ads on Craigslist and Facebook and all your social media accounts whatever tasks you have them doing you're going to want to make sure that they check in with you when they begin uh, that day, okay? And then when they when they finish up the task, they're gonna wanna check in with you then again. And th this way, you know that they showed up for work, okay? And that they worked and then that they let you know when they felt like they had successfully completed the day's tasks at hand. And now you have the ability to go in and inspect what you expect from them now if you don't take the time to teach your virtual assistant from the very beginning interview to um, email you before the tasks begin each day and after the tasks have been completed then this is something you're going to have to play catch up with okay so just start out that way and then you'll be able to every day go and inspect what you expect from them and see that it was done and that it was done properly and if it was not done properly then it was your responsibility then to go it will be to go and change that okay with them to instruct them and teach them okay so that's the second philosophy you cannot inspect what you expect if you haven't taught them what you want okay if you haven't shown them in the most simple terms what you want completed the task at hand and how you want it done if you have not shown them what the task is and how you want it done then you have no right to inspect what you expect okay so you better start them off correct and you better start them off with a list of tasks and how to complete them all right you can do this because it's real simple put it on a PDF okay put it on a doc and then just email it to that interviewee and say here is the list of tasks at hand and how to accomplish them this is what you will be expected to do every day you will be expected to email me before you begin then complete the tasks and how I showed you what the tasks are and how to do them and then when you've completed them successfully you email me and let me know and then you then can inspect what you expect okay now the third philosophy is put them on the plank put them on the plank okay 
you're going to have some excuses you're going to have a virtual assistant like i have ask me they're going to ask you for some shoes okay they're going to ask you to help them get some shoes think about that yeah it happened it happened to me you know what i put twenty dollars on the next payday why because twenty dollars of american dollars in their country is enough to buy some damn nice shoes okay at christmas time i give my virtual assistant two hundred dollar bonus two hundred dollars of united states money is like ten thousand dollars in their money i put them out on the plank there's nowhere for them to go anywhere in the whole they can't work for nobody else except me and get the kind of goodness and the kind of love and appreciation that i give my virtual assistants that's putting them out on the plank okay now along with putting them out on the plank i'm not their buddy i'm not their friend and i'm not their pal okay uh i'm i'm, I'm not their uh pen pal okay we we are not uh we're not doing anything other than working to make money okay now along with that i want you to know i appreciate you and i'm gonna take care of you when i can and as i can all right above and beyond as you show me i'll show you you got to do good i'll do good right and 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 then come come across with that really do it okay and that's going to help you manage and have a successful relationship with these virtual assistants take a pen and paper and write down the tasks that you want your virtual assistant to accomplish and then underneath each one of those tasks I want you to write down how to accomplish those tasks. How would someone post a Craigslist ad? What what categories? You know, is it in the for sale by owner or in the for sale by broker or is it in the for rent section? Okay, you need to say how. And once you have this, you'll save it. Okay, and then you can give this to your virtual assistant. And then if that one doesn't work out, you have it for the next one or the next one or the next one. Okay, or if you expand and you have five ads posters you can totally give it to all of them you'll only have to create that document one time and then expect them to email you before they begin complete the tasks as you have written out and outlined and then email you and let you know then and then put them out on the plank okay it's that simple all right you have to inspect what you expect that's how it works all right don't get in don't get involved a few other thoughts don't get involved in long conversations about one another on skype okay don't be sending them shoes and chocolates and candies and then them gonna mail you something and all this other shit just business okay anything else and you're gonna get you're gonna get the short end of the stick manage your business by inspecting what you expect by showing them what you expect right and then by being so good to them that you put them out on the plank and you're gonna have a great 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 relationship i love my virtual assistants javon the best virtual assistant in the whole world i promise you hey thanks for watching but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.